Today, we're going to learn how to test an oxygen sensor. To begin, there are two types of oxygen sensors, narrowband and wideband. Narrowband sensors typically have four wires or fewer, while wideband sensors usually have more than four wires. Today, we'll focus on the narrowband type, specifically the zirconia oxygen sensor. Let's get started. The oxygen sensor measures the amount of oxygen in the exhaust and sends this information to the ECM. It produces voltage by comparing the oxygen in the exhaust to the oxygen in the air. The sensor needs to be heated to 600 degrees to produce voltage, but it works best at 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Most cars have two oxygen sensors, one before the catalytic converter and one after. Some cars may have three or four sensors, depending on the engine size, or if there are two catalytic converters. The oxygen sensor before the catalytic converter helps the ECM control the fuel injectors to get the right air-fuel mix. If the oxygen sensor finds too much fuel, rich condition, the ECM will cut back on fuel. If the sensor finds too much air, lean condition, the ECM will add more fuel. The oxygen sensor after the catalytic converter checks how well the catalytic converter is working. Now, to test your oxygen sensor, we will provide you with steps you can follow. To check your oxygen sensor, make sure your car's engine is off. Set your multimeter to two volts on the DC setting. Use a back probe test lead to connect the red multimeter lead to the oxygen sensor's signal wire and touch the black lead to a good ground like the car's metal frame or the battery's negative terminal. Start the engine and wait for the oxygen sensor to heat up to at least 600 degrees Fahrenheit to start producing a voltage. Once it does, the voltage should move between below 300 to over 800 millivolts, or below 0.3 to over 0.8 volts. If it does, your oxygen sensor is likely working fine and doesn't need replacing. But if your oxygen sensor isn't working and needs replacing, it won't fluctuate or it will stay close to 450 millivolts or 0.45 volts all the time. If the O2 sensor consistently reads higher than 550 millivolts, it means there's too much fuel in the air mix. A high reading might also happen if the sensor is dirty. If the reading is always below 350 millivolts, it means there's not enough fuel in the mix. This could be because the oxygen sensor is broken or for another reason. To check if it's the oxygen sensor, press the gas pedal. If it's working right, you'll see the voltage go up right away. If not, the sensor is probably broken. The second test is only for oxygen sensors that have a heater, and you can do it for sensors before or after the catalytic converter. First, make sure your car is off. Set your multimeter to measure resistance, ohms, at 200. Disconnect the oxygen sensor and connect one test lead to each heater terminal. Most cars have heater wires that are the same color, but check your vehicle's manual to be sure. If you don't get any reading, it means the heater is broken and you'll need to replace the sensor. But if you do get a reading, that's good news. Just make sure it's within the range specified in your car's manual. It could be anywhere from two to four ohms, five to seven ohms, or even up to 16 ohms. There you have it. Those are the easiest ways to test your oxygen sensor. It's important to know and test your O2 sensor because a bad sensor can cause poor engine performance, lower fuel efficiency, and higher emissions. By checking it regularly, you can keep your engine running well, save on fuel, and reduce pollution. But if you do have a faulty one at hand, the cost to replace it can vary based on your vehicle's make and model and whether you use an original or aftermarket part. Typically, a new one can cost you between $50 and $200. Labor costs for the replacement usually range from $50 to $150. So, in total, you can expect to pay between $100 and $350 to replace a faulty O2 sensor. We hope you find this video helpful. And if you do, make sure to like and subscribe so we can assist you fix it.